guys, it's Kim, and I'm up here camping out still and enjoying today. It's supposed to get to the low 80s, which is freakishly warm for this area at this time of year. So I'm taking advantage of it. I'm hanging out, and I'm going to move all my stuff out here so I can enjoy the sun and the birds. And you'll probably hear birds, and the, <laughs> the squirrel is really loud. I just fed them, so I kept, I quit having it here because I don't want to get rodents in my trailer. So it's all the bird feeders are over on a little tree. So anyway, so they shouldn't be dive bombing me. Okay, so I got to play with my new, my creative time items. I made the girl Gingy. And I used the wand for her and these eyelash. As she's singing, I felt like she almost looked like she was yawning. But, you know, put a little dress on her. You get all kinds of little cutesy things to play with her. And I use my diamond press, um, sorry, I keep looking down there, um, gems. I have those little books of gems. Every time they come out with them, I get them. I love those things. So here it is. Here she is. Oh, my gosh. Is she not the cutest? So I gave her two buns and then her hair and the big bow. The big bow comes in the main original pack yeah and the little bun somebody said they saw somebody use the these little buns for ice cream scoop so there you go cute and i used the paper from the new pad i started this and then i changed up so which it's it's already well worn i've been using this one today or yesterday and today and this teal you know what i mean the teal but today on her, I just used the pink polka dot. Gosh. And then you get the little ziggy zags for the feet, legs and arms. Now this, I chose to do the wand and I wanted it to be sparkly, but I didn't have foil paper here. So what I did was I just took white paper and I had these pens, distress oxide, distress embossing pens. So I just colored up the cutout on white and then came in with from Tuesday morning back in the day zing silver that's what yeah sparkly silver embossing powder um, I did come in with a gel pen that was shiny silver just for the spots that didn't stick very well so you can't tell but I thought that turned out really cute I cut out two and I used it to keep the wand in and to secure the little bones in the back. So I cut, cut out two of her. Front and back. But is she not the cutest? I'm sorry, but that is just too freaking cute. And I don't have my ruler out here. I'm just hanging out with the nature. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. So I had fun making her. That was quick and easy, though. It really was. Other than the coming up with the wand idea. Okay, then I used... This is a cute card pocket add-ons, and you get the tags and sentiments, and it's jumbled in here because now I've used a little. I didn't even think about the little triangle, so I could have layered it even more, but that's okay. What I wasn't sure, and I don't have all my stuff with me, so I did not have with me, and I'm not sure if I have them or not, the cute card dies the original that these are an add-on to so I looked it up and found the measurement and went that route so here that is so see I could have used that inside triangle so this is the teal paper the polka dot and on the back it has the bigger polka dot but I went with the tiny but that teal with the script is really pretty I don't have any idea what it says and then I made a tag and on the tag I did I showed yesterday, I think it was, and thank you, everybody, for your support. I'm fine. It's just, life happens, you know, that scary incident. So if you want to hear a story, go to my last yesterday's book, or to this morning's. Anyway, here is Swiss. I put her on there. Love really cute. Oh, what is her name? Heart Swissy. So I don't know um, if CC Designs still has her on clearance, but I, like I said, I paid like $2. She's so cute. So I did the tag, and I happened to have this paper, this ribbon from 
stamping up. And I stamped her on there and I used a sentiment from the new set here. Comes with all these sentiments, a little note, and then on her heart it says, You are the best. I just think that turned out so cute. Super, super cute. And I um, used my Spectrum Noir tried lens on this one. I should do something with her eyes, though. But yeah. And this was printed. The ink I used was just an ink from Distress. I love the detail on here. So cute. Just Emma's dies and things. Here's the back. That's the other side of that paper. So this could go on the front of a card or in a gift. I will look to see if I have, because this doesn't have any of the cute stitching detail that I would like on there. So, but you know, you're, you're camping. I'm roughing it, you know. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah, 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 really rough on it. Okay, and then I had gotten this die in recently, I think from Allie. I'm doing more Allie. They're coming faster now, so it's this little girl. I'll show you what this is a mess. And I also used some of these oval. I have oval dies. I have um, things like that just in bags all my frames and dies like that so i can just pull from those and as a background paper i use for her i'll show you in a minute hang on my favorite things just a little bit, 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 bit rainbow plaid piece of paper from that so pretty so let me show you i'm in this teal and pink mode so i used again this teal some scraps that i had from um my creative time paper that i just got and the polka dot for the bows, and then little pearls from uh, Diamond Press, the little books. The rest of it, I backed it up. I had to trace it, but I backed it up the dress with just a pink paper. And then I watercolored her face, her arms, her hair, and her socks. This you get, let me show you. You get these, you know, it's paper piecing, but it's not a lot of these. Sometimes, oh my gosh, sometimes paper piecing can be really overwhelming. Let's see where I'm at. But, see, like this cut out, but it would have been see-through, so I just went ahead and traced it out. That. <clears throat> but for her head, <laughs> so you get this, that you can do her hair with and her eye color. But then I went ahead and cut out, and I did that with watercolor, like I said. Hang on. Sorry. Crumple, crumple, crumple. I don't want to lose these tiny little pieces. Here's the face. So then I went in and laid the face down. Well, then the face was popping out, and the hair was in the background. Uh, I, just, I couldn't have it. No can do. So I cut another, just the hair out, separated it, and then layered it so it looks more natural, I guess. Otherwise, her head was like, <laughs> her face. <coughs> I just used a white gel and some, I just use a Q-tip going with distressed light pink for her cheeks and then do a gel. Now her arms, I was like, what are these? But I figured it out. There are her arms to tuck in the back. I was like, does she have horns? <laughs> this is the arms. These are the arms. But because they're on the side and they cut out separately so they don't out two, they're just to go angled behind her back. That's like she's gonna look like she's got little stubby alien arms, but no, I figured it out. I'm some days it all connects, so I just think she turned out super cute. So, yeah, there are my Saturday morning makes. I'm gonna keep creating. It's nice and warm here today. I went for a walk down to the lake. I will try to put in a uh, my thumbnail. A picture of a baby deer. Kind of sad though, because the mama had two babies, and I saw yesterday one of them was kind of walking limping and was not. Took her a while to catch up with her sibling and her mom. Well, today they're not even with her, so.
anyway, so there is that. But yeah, just out here enjoying the living the living the good life. All right, you guys, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.